The major winter storm is impacting millions of Americans as it brings bitter cold temperatures, blizzard conditions, and flooding to much of the country. It just stings the eyes. You feel like you immediately have icicles on your eyelashes, burns the nose, try to keep everything covered up. Buffalo, New York getting more than two feet of snow. The airport shut down until Monday. Two-thirds of emergency response vehicles are stuck across the city. And officials are warning residents to check furnace vents to avoid carbon monoxide poisoning. It is life-threatening what is going on as we speak in Buffalo. In Kentucky, more than 700 vehicles were stuck on a 14-mile stretch of I-71 after an emergency highway closure. We were able to um, evacuate most by uh, shutting down the interstate and turning them around. Now uh, we can get some of those that are stuck uh, northbound, but it's going to take some time. Roughly 50 cars were involved in a deadly multi-car pileup on Interstate 80 in Ohio. Snow and ice to blame. This is a stark reminder of what can happen when you get behind the wheel and try to drive in bad weather conditions. At the nation's airports, thousands of flights have been canceled or delayed. On Friday alone, nearly 6,000 flights were canceled, the most of any day this year. What we've done is to make sure our restaurants, our concessions, uh, have stayed open late. We have passed out blankets. Powerful wind also taking a toll, ripping the roof off this hotel in New Hampshire and causing this tree to come crashing down on a car, trapping a man inside. First responders getting him to the hospital. They say he's doing well. Phil Lipoff, ABC News, New York. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.